We're reading What is the Body from Part 2 of the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. There are 14 instructions interspersed through, throughout Part 2 of the workbook, and What is the Body is the fifth instruction. We're actually supposed to read the instruction every day along with our lesson for 10 lessons until we come to the next instruction. This one is really relevant. What is the body? The body is a fence the Son of God imagines he has built to separate parts of his self from other parts. It is within this fence he thinks he lives to die as it decays and crumbles. For within this fence he thinks that he is safe from love. Identifying with his safety, he regards himself as what his safety is. How else could he be certain he remains within the body, keeping love outside? The body will not stay. Yet this he sees as double safety. <laughs> For the Son of God's impermanence is proof his fences work and do the task his mind assigns to them. For if his oneness still remained untouched, who could attack and who could be attacked? Who could be victor and who could be his prey? Who could be victim? Who the murderer? And if he did not die, what proof is there that God's eternal Son can be destroyed? The body is a dream. Like other dreams, it sometimes seems to picture happiness, but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born. For only love creates in truth, and truth can never fear. Made to be fearful, must the body serve the purpose given it. But we can change the purpose that the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for. The body is the means by which God's Son returns to sanity. Though it was made to fence him into hell without escape, yet has the goal of heaven been exchanged for the pursuit of hell. The Son of God extends his hand to reach his brother and to help him walk along the road with him. Now is the body made holy. Now it serves to heal the mind that it was made to kill. You will identify with what you think will make you safe. Whatever it may be, you will believe that it is one with you. Your safety lies in truth and not in lies. Love is your safety. Fear does not exist. Identify with love and you are safe. Identify with love and you are home. Identify with love and find your self. That's instruction number five. What is the body? If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresasim.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.